Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and breaking right now, we have some really huge news regarding The Division 2. Now, I want to say this right off the bat, full, full credit goes to Epic Slayers. I did not have any clue about this news until he just made a video a short while ago, um, and I checked it out, and I checked with him to make sure it was okay that I did a video as well, and he said, go ahead. So thank you very much to Epic. I will leave a link in the description to his original video, um, because without him making one, I would have never, uh, never seen this news. I am not checking the sources for Division 2 news at all, but I suppose now I really need to, because we have... Um, some developments on some additional studios and uh, details about what might be going on with the Division 2's update. So we're going to get into it right now. I just plugged in to record this. I have no script. I have something going on in like an hour from now. So this is uh, very off the cuff. But let's just get into it. There is a position open, a job listing on Ubisoft's official site. This is not speculation in the least. This is on Ubisoft's official site that at their Shanghai studio... Again, Shanghai, we haven't heard about them at all for The Division in a long time, that there's a senior level designer role for Tom Clancy's The Division 2. So, off the bat, that means that in addition to Massive and Bucharest, which obviously Massive has been the head studio for The Division for six years now, Bucharest was the one we heard about in February 2021 that was being associated, you know, a decent portion of developers to help them with uh, making all the new content. But now apparently... Shanghai is also in the mix, and maybe there are other studios too that we don't know about that just haven't been communicated to us. I don't know when they might have joined on, how long they've been there, any of that stuff. I think they did help out with the original Division 2 launch, uh, but we haven't heard about anything with them, certainly ever since the year 3 you know, uh, news and quote-unquote content, even though now it's year 4, uh, started. We hadn't heard about them in a long time, so this is certainly very interesting, but it does not end there. We also have specific details on what they're going to build here. So, I'll read this here. Under job description, uh, the, the wording on this is very odd, which, you know, maybe it's just a translation since it's a Chinese studio to an English uh, job listing. Now, here is a chance to join our project, the Division 2 CN version, to work on new summit design, new mode, etc., big features. Level design with a senior level who can take the responsibility of designing a new game mode with the CN team. He needs to be an expert of making PvP game maps, which can also give, uh, give advises... Again, kind of weird, to junior LDs. And then that's about the only specifics we get there. But right there, those are two things that we had not heard about for this coming update. Summit redesign, okay, or new summit design, they say. Uh, new mode, obviously we did know about that. Big features, okay, and need to be an expert in making PvP game maps, also something we had not heard about in the slightest. Now, this is really big for a few reasons. One, like I explained at the beginning, having, you know, another studio in the mix opens up the horizons of what we might be able to expect with this update, and it might broaden the scope of our under current understanding of what's going on with The Division 2. You know, we kind of thought that Ubisoft isn't giving them a ton of resources, it's just massive and some people at Bucharest, but if Shanghai's in the mix, who's to say where it ends and how many studios are actually contributing to what's going on behind the scenes right now and the long-term plan that I talked about in one of my recent videos. And then additionally... This stuff here, it really reinforces the idea that I've been trying to hammer home for so long now, which is that we still don't really understand the scope of this coming update. Sure, they've told us about the expertise system. Sure, they've told us about the specialization rework. We know we're getting a new game mode. We know they're redesigning the seasons. But every time someone comments and says, oh, this is going to be a free update with no content, I try to say so often... There's so many secrets coming that we just don't know about yet. Yannick said as much when this content was first announced back in February of 2021. He said... Um, something along the lines of, you know, the idea of having more seasons and blah, blah, blah. is just the tip of the iceberg. We want this to be a really surprising update that should be satisfying for the players who are still playing The Division 2. And I think this reinforces that idea so much. We still probably don't even know half of what's coming in this update. And if we have a new game mode, season redesign, expertise system, specialization rework, maybe new PvP maps, maybe an even new design for the summit... That could be very huge. Now, it's also fair to say that this could be for uh, updates after the first big one that we have coming, because we heard back in October that there are subsequent updates planned throughout 2022 for The Division 2 after this first one. I would assume we're probably getting at least a year full of seasons from whenever this first update drops, meaning that that's probably at least four major updates, three after the first big one. Um, and so this could be stuff for one of that. I mean, they're just hiring now, right? Um and so maybe Shanghai just recently got brought on to make some of this stuff for the later updates. We don't know. But the point is, this is new stuff that we had not heard about coming. And I think it should hopefully give a bit more hope to the people who were losing theirs um, that we still don't know what's coming for the future of the Division 2. But there is a lot. And there's just a lot that hasn't been communicated yet because they're just not ready to show it. I don't think 
maybe this isn't going to stay up for very long. I have a feeling that these uh, more specific details weren't meant to be included in the job listing, but I have a feeling that that could just be part of the um, poor translation we're seeing here is that maybe the people at the Shanghai studio just didn't get the memo that they're not supposed to include this stuff in the job listing. Um, because usually you don't see specifics like this. You see work on AAA gameplay features, work on backend programming, work on blah, blah, blah. This is specific stuff. Um, and I have a feeling we'll have to watch this over the next few days. If this listing gets deleted or changed, then I think we have a good sense that, um, that uh, you know, things here could be legit. And just to show you guys, Epic showed in his video that there are even more listings for The Division 2 at Shanghai. I'm not sure which category they're under, and I don't necessarily have the time to go and find them right now. This was the one that was the most revealing. But you can see that Shanghai is a support studio for all these different types of games, right? We have Snowdrop in Canada, uh, Star Wars Project from Malmo. We have Beyond Good and Evil in Germany, Avatar, obviously, at uh, Massive as well, Beyond Good and Evil 2, Assassin's Creed VR, uh, unannounced project, like all these different things that Shanghai are support for, very similar to Bucharest in the sense that they're a large studio that divvies up their developers onto these different projects. And to see now that The Division 2 is in the mix here at Shanghai, I think that means very big things for the future of The Division 2. So that about does it for this uh, news drop right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts on this development that The Division 2 has a new job listing at Shanghai, meaning a new studio is in the mix for The Division 2's future and that it lists specific features such as new summit design, new game mode, big features, and PvP game maps. This is all very interesting stuff. I'll be very curious to hear what you all think about it down below and um, hopefully we'll get uh, more cadence and more information on this moving forward that's going to do it for me on this one though everybody once again thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and until the next one guys rogue gold out